guys. So we're in Texas. I flew because I've like been in Pennsylvania for horse stuff this summer. And so I came like home. I'm at the lake, but like basically my parents are here most of the time now. Um, and it's like four-ish, four and a half hours from like my hometown, but an hour, hour and a half depending on traffic from like where I go to college. So basically like this is home. So I'm at the lake and I got in today. I sound like awful because like this fit, these PJ fit, that's how I feel right now. Like if I'm not wearing a cute matching PJs, you know something's wrong. Like you know I'm not feeling myself. This is like actually the first time I've been home. Home. Um like at since I spent two nights here doing finals because like Saturday sudden or Friday, Saturday night of like final week, spring semester, like I didn't have like tests obviously. And so I came here to study and like relax. And then I flew out an hour after I finished my final to Pennsylvania. Like my last final, like that Monday I flew out. And so like part of my stuff here is like not even unpacked from college. And it's just been like under in a closet, like under the stairs. I didn't bring like um all like my cosmetics with me because I have like all I didn't even bring a hairbrush because like I have one here. So it was kind of fun like getting these my own products. Okay, so like here's the rundown. So I got in and then my mom picked me up at the airport. I went to like the alterations place I use in Austin, like when I'm in school, and I dropped two things off. And then that I need like done for rush. And then we stopped at Home Goods just to like look for stuff for the apartment. I did get some stuff all kind of like I guess show you. I don't know if I want to gatekeep or not, like until later. And then we we're kind of killing time and I had to go to the doctor because as you can tell I sound horrendous and I've kind of like not been doing the best like I have like I just like so I finished finals and I felt like I had the plague like I was literally coughing up phlegm I definitely had really bad bronchitis didn't go to the doctor because I don't know why like I was just like I'm fine like I'm here and I was like running off adrenaline and then that went away and then like I felt like I was like oh it's allergies and then two weeks ago like my like the nasal stuff got better like allergies ago I wasn't like as like allergy symptom but I started having like these horrendous headaches couldn't think straight and I was like oh wow like something's wrong with me like and when I don't feel good like I just like obviously like couldn't even focus think and so like mentally like wasn't in the best place and then having that like I was like spiraling so I called my mom to in the airport this morning and I was like, I think I'm like sick. She's like, girl, you've sounded sick for like two months. She's like, I'll make a doctor's appointment. So I went, I have a sinus infection, which makes so much sense because I was like dying for and then like didn't treat it. So then obviously, so they gave me a steroid shot, but like I took it in apple juice, like a shot. And then like antibiotics, nasal sprays, like all of that. And so hopefully... I'll feel better and then like my headache and I'll be able to think straight and life will be so much improved but I've been home just like chatting and like hanging out with my parents because I haven't seen them in a few weeks and so it's like a night and they like were gone out of town for two weeks out of the country and it's like I couldn't call them really much so it was just like kind of the vibe but I'm gonna go to sleep I feel like super woman like super energetic like so happy because of the steroid shot but I'm not gonna lie, I was down bad. I was like crying on the plane, like, which was like so good, much needed because I haven't like been, like my head is hurt. Like I haven't been able to concentrate enough to like even cry. And so like, I just like finally was like had a cry sesh and it was like so good, but yeah. So I'm gonna go sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, so I'm literally still in my PJs, but I've done like school. I just like haven't gone outside and I've been a warrior and unpacking because I've yet to unpack from my like dorm stuff from like when I moved out like during finals in the last week of April like first few days of May and it's 4th of July so I started undoing that and like organizing stuff because I probably won't be back until like a few days before I move in so I'm trying to get everything organized so I'll show you I don't move in until like halfway through work week 
So I like put all like the stuff like I might want to wear for work week that was like in my pull out drawers from like college clothes, like stuff I didn't take with me. So I can have like a duffel bag with that. So it's already sorted. I need to like look at my bedding for like this year, but I was kind of like going through and like unpacking, like I have a bunch of decor. These all need to be bubble wrapped and packed because they're breakables. Same thing here, like I had to like wipe everything down. I have stuff that like I'm not going to take to college this year, like winter shoes, clothes I'm not taking, or that are like t-shirts. I went through my like sorority t-shirts and got collected things that I'm like, okay, I'm not going to wear this this year. Like I'm going to like set that aside for my little. Um, I have like other random stuff. These we need to go through because I have like this whole bag. I'm just going to throw upstairs for now of like cosmetics that like have been like sitting in this closet and I'm like have testers that I might need to throw away and you go through those and then like stuff for different rooms like kind of sorted like organized it so like when I do pack it's already organized these are all like my drawer organizers for my bathroom and like my mirror I found like a bunch of curtains and then this is because it's like all been in here and I need to pack like all my twin bedding in a box for the living in the house junior year but I have like I was trying to like organize like some of my clothes and like my under the bed I just like I had stuff thrown in here so I've been like dealing with this battle and my mom's getting me like some like some moving boxes to like put my mattress cover and stuff mattress pad so at UT for us for most like for a lot of sororities you live in junior year and like I'll use like my twin bedding junior year and I have a queen bed. I'm, I, I don't even know where my bed is. I had to order it because my apartment's not furnished. Like a lot of them aren't in Austin. So I like gonna have like a queen bed probably sophomore, senior year. So it's like, I just like need to pack up all like, my twin bedding and like put in storage in the attic for like the next year. So I just like, I'm going through all of that. And then I think my dad, when he gets off work, like at 3.30, we're gonna go out on the boat and um, surf maybe. So yeah, I'm just like trying to get all that done and like do my online school while I can. I just went and got like a sweet treat. I came into like the town. It's like I have like I just smells so funny. Where like our lake house is, it's like 20 minutes from like our actual house to town. But there's some of my friends from college actually like live here full time. And so I like came into town. And today, honestly, I just like did school all morning and then after lunch I was outside. Hence the sunburn. Um I honestly like is it the light? I think it's like gotten worse like I didn't look like this earlier but I also just like stopped to get something like to drink and so just got fun but kind of it's like fun like getting to see people because I haven't seen anyone from college since um like the first of May so it was like fun finally getting to see people but I'm gonna head home and because like the sun is setting but I'll see y'all in a bit guys we have a crazy mess in here you can't even see it all but I pulled stuff like when I went through my bins downstairs of like stuff I need to get rid of like college wise like that was in my college clothes like I didn't wear this year and like I and there's just like random stuff like I have like books that I am not gonna like take to college with me this year um like I have some shoe boxes like winter gloves and stuff and then also I have like clothes I need to go through like I don't wear these tops anymore so definitely I'm gonna sell these and I have a few things like okay some like holy leggings that don't this is like actually this doesn't really fit me but I kinda keep it. Um the random towel wrap. Oh and then I have like stuff I already pulled like for my future little that I'm like, you know what, like I probably won't where are these things? Um, I have a pile already going because I have had things, I've been collecting stuff, like t-shirts for a while. But like I had a few t-shirts in like my drawers that I was like, hmm, 
I don't really, I don't really know if I need those. So, oh, do I have a try on pile? Like, I need a try on pile. I have like winter stuff, like beanie stuff. I obviously don't need to take for a bit. So, this is just what I gotta work on. Okay, so here's the status. This needs to go donate to like a women's shelter. Um, that's should y'all that. I just like threw this in here. I'm gonna put this in my closet, my trash bag. Those are try ons. In here, I have like sentimental like t shirts that I might do something with eventually. Um, I have bags I'm not gonna take to college. I have most of like my like really tall like heels. Winter shoes are in a lot of my winter shoes are in this like moving bag. I have like these like things like I would wear for like a special occasion. So if I need to come get them, like I'll come get them. I'm just not gonna have room in my closet. Um this is like a bunch of like cosmetic bags and stuff. I don't know what I'm packing in yet, so I just like threw them in this big bag of like packing cubes. That's all Poshmark. That's for my future little. Um, I found like some bracelets like I went through. That's like books and stuff I'm gonna take back to like my actual childhood bedroom and put in my bookshelf there. Just cause like I don't need them, but I don't wanna get rid of them. And then these I need to like take downstairs and pack and look at the stuff. I'm trying to find a home for them for college this year. I have like a sweatshirt. This needs to be hung up. Oh. Great. I have like more stuff I need to go through decide whether or not I'm taking it or put it in this closet. Um, literally just have clothes on the floor. I'm living out of the suitcase because I'm like, the stuff I'm going to take back to Pennsylvania, I'm going to keep in here. I had like a huge suitcase where I brought most of my stuff home because I think I'm going to have to like do laundry like every two days because I'm not going to take a lot back um, with me. These shoes I've been wearing, it's 1130 and it's empty. the United States. Good morning. So I've been doing history. I'm taking like an online class for the summer for history and then I'm also going to do a physics one. Like I'm doing physics but I just finished my history for the morning. I have to write an essay later today but I watch all my lectures and it's about 10 a.m. so I came up on the dock and I'm going to like tan and hang out here until after lunch and then I feel like maybe like after lunch we'll go on the boat like when my dad gets back from golf but it's so pretty it's so warm I just want to be tan because I have maybe tanned three times other than this week this entire summer so I feel so pale I'm tired of being pale the butcha. I've been outside and in the pool for three and a half hours and like I can't like there were like a little intermissions for like lunch and stuff and I just did a Melissa Wood Health water workout because I'm trying to like start working. I haven't been working out because I haven't had access to like a gym or a workout room in Pennsylvania. So like I do like yoga sometimes, but I've just like kind of not, not been good about it. So sorry. I like am trying to get back on my grind. Oh my God, I got a breath. But yesterday and the day before I did, I, I'm not a spin girl. I don't like the bike, but I did, um, spin because we have our peloton here and i just like didn't want to like drive up to the gym at the resort it's like, 50, it's like 10 minutes away i'm probably gonna do that tomorrow but like i thought it would be busy so i was like i need to do some cardio too like try the bike it's all like it's so hard i can't i don't like spinning clothes over my swimsuit and i'm gonna go to the market and buy some ice cream and like i'm getting dairy free and my mom wants strawberry ice cream so i'm gonna get to that i have all these clothes i need to take pics for depop but I spent the morning, um, cause I last talked to y'all last night, I think. I've been writing my essay. I finally, I just submitted it. It's due tomorrow, but like my like best friend's coming from Dallas. She's driving tonight. She's gonna get here. And then tomorrow we're gonna go into Austin and go to a party, like a college party. Um, we go to UT and we're gonna see my other best friends who is actually my roommate one of my roommates from last year's twin sister my roommate abby is not going to actually come because she has to like house it so that's unfortunate i'm really sad i don't even see her but i haven't seen like anyone anyone any of like my best friends 
So I'm so excited that I get like see two of them. Ah. So I'm trying to just like get everything done school wise before Alexis gets here today. So then we can just do our thing. So today's workout was like a 10 minute lower body um, weight class on Peloton. And then I did a Peloton hike, like a 20 minute one after that. And I was like, my little workout today.